This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Run this program. Watch the code run carefully. Read each individual part of the program. Okay, so I'll do that. And keep in mind, we can control the speed of the run with this bar down here. So I'm going to hit run. Oh, that's a bit too fast for me to talk about it. I'm going to go slow and now hit run. All right, so we make a top list variable and it's an empty list, empty list. We make top index zero, bottoms index. Okay, so now, oh, it's not going to run because we haven't done anything. Oh, but it will do fill, fill lists. And so what it's doing here, it's adding all of these, each one of these images, right? Because this is an HTML image. I'm going to reset. Each one of these images is getting added to our list. What list? The top list. So it's grabbing this file and adding it to our list. I can even show you. If you look for this, it's going to pop up with the picture, right? So that's, it's just the text form of getting to the picture. And it's saying, hey, add this image here, add this image here, add this image to a pinned item to the top list. Cool. And then this is update screen. So this will push that, set the property top image. So change this image to whatever we selected. And this response, keep in mind the index is what part of the list we are in. So at the first index of our list or index zero, because lists start at zero or arrays start at zero, at the first index of our list is this shirt. Okay, of the top list, the second index, which is index one, because we start counting at zero. So the second index, which is index two, is this item. All right. So that is what is going on there. And does it work? We didn't even. Oh, I got to speed up the run. Oh, yeah. Woo. Boom. Bah. Bah. <laughs> All right. So are we making edits? Modify. If time allows, yes, make the following modifications to the program. Edit the if statement on line 18 through 20 so that the top index is set to 0. 18 through 20. So that uh, 20, so that the top index is set to 0, which is the beginning of the list, when the user hits the right button when they're at the end. So that way it will loop forever. So right now it must not. I just get stuck. So what they're saying here is it want, they want us to make sure, hey, are we at the end of the list? If so, they want us to set our index back to zero so it looks like it loops around. Okay. Um, there are a few ways to do that. We know how long the list is literally because we can count where the bottom list is made. So there's one, two, wait, yep, one, two, three, four, five, six items. We can also use the length item. Yeah, we can also use length. So Let's go ahead and here, lines 18, I'm going to add in another if. And I want to do it under this. I want to do it under this. And let's see, once again, edit if statement on line 18 through 20, so that the top index is set to zero if the user hits the right button when they're already at the end of the list. So if top index is greater than top list dot length minus one or is less than, oh, okay. Oh, I don't need another if, I need an else. So if we are, if it is top index is less than top list length minus one, that means we don't do top list length because the length of our list might be, I don't know, I think it's three shirts. We'll say it's three shirts. So when I ask for the length of the list, like I do here, the computer will tell me, well, it's three. That's great. The problem is, is that the indexes start at zero. So we have three items, which means we have an item at index zero, an item at index one, and an item in a, at index two. And that's three items, right? Zero, one, and two are three places. So we want to make sure that we don't ask the computer to go to spot three. Even though we have three items, that third item is in spot two because we have spot zero, spot one, spot two. Now what it's asking is, well, what happens when we do hit the end? When we hit the end of the list, go back to zero, go back to the starting gate, all right? And to do that, I added an else because if top index is no longer less than list minus one, I'm gonna go ahead and make top oops, index equal to zero. I'm gonna make it restart. And that way it should go back around forever. Ah, crazy. 
Cool. Let's keep going.